Do, 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 do. Shut this down for a little bit. So we got all of the kilts assembled to the point they can be assembled to. They're now each two pieces. You saw the one put together. Next step is going to be putting belt loops on it. Well, the next step is going to be making them and then putting them on. So these are big. These are not for little skinny guys. We know there's going to be two belt loops on each apron, so that's two right there. Now down the sides, I'm measuring six inches apart, which is fair for belt loops. Okay, so first one is at three inches from the back center. So they're going to be six inches apart on the back to allow for the lacing, which is what makes it sizable. So from there, six inches up, six inches up, we end up with eight belt loops for each one. So eight, 16, 24. I got to make 24 belt loops. How am I going to do that? Well, rather than cutting off the roll, this is why I keep all of the smaller pieces that I cut off. There's the vertical. They're going to be an inch wide, so i got to cut two inches, or cut it into two inch strips, fold them back around themselves, like that, after I surge them, and do two rows of stitching on the face to hold it all together. They're going to end up looking like these ones, but these are the wrong fabric, so I can't use them. It's like that on the back. It's like that on the front. Two vertical rows. What that does is you fold it at the top and stitch it on. And you fold it at the bottom and stitch it on. Makes an extra wide belt loop for a big wide belt. I have extras for the next project I make that I can use them on. But uh, yeah, so I'll cut those up and then I'll stitch them together. Yeah, you might ask yourself, how do you measure to do this. Like, how difficult is it? Well, luckily, this square is two inches wide. So I just line up an edge. And cut it. Really easy like. That's going to be a strip of out loops. There's another strip. Seeing as I need to make 24 of these, that uh, one's a little too wide, so I'll cut it too. I am going to surge the edges on all of them. No, I can, may as well do it. So our waist is now this instead of all that. I'm really good at not wasting, good for uh, not wasting material. I don't like waste. Efficiency with use of material allows me to do things like, uh, I don't know, depending on the width of the roll, like that big wide roll. I could pull a pair of jeans out of like one meter of fabric just by being very efficient with use of material. Most people don't want to or can't do that. The less material I use, though, the less the customer has to pay. Let's see how long these strips are versus how long these belt loops are. See how many we can get out of one piece. One, two,
Perfect. Maybe get four out of each one. So we need 24 all together. We got so far. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. There. How's that? All the cuttings done. I'll surge those up and then put them on the sewing machine. Popping back and forth, I'm thinking I'm going to have to invest in another stool or chair or something. In any case, so you fold these this way. You got them all edge surged. You fold them that way. This is the back, so it doesn't matter what it looks like. If you're off a little bit on an angle or something, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be perfect or pretty or anything. You just get it roughly centered. Fold it in half like that. And every so often you put a pin in it. Just so it holds flat while you're stitching it. How many pins? Doesn't matter. Enough to hold it together. How far apart do you put through the pins? Doesn't matter. It's just to keep it flat while you're stitching it. The answer is enough to do the job. Because, like I said, said numerous times before, fabric is very forgiving as a medium. So here's what top's going to look like. Let's stitch that up. Other one shut down. Turn on all our lights. Turn on the machine. And this being one inch wide and the uh, presser foot being half an inch wide, we can just put each of these stitch lines at one quarter, which is, you know, keep the presser foot to the edge more or less. Don't need to worry about back stitching. Don't even have to worry about being straight, being completely straight. Because it's going in like three inch. Uh... Well, let's see how big those are. Ah. It's going in four and a half inch lengths. So that's good enough. I thought it was three inch. Now four and a half inch length. And again, the you don't need to worry about back stitching it because all the ends are going to be covered very quickly. That's how you do it. Do a little excess, cut it off if we need to. And it's just going to be chopped up now. See, there's your length of bell loops. Just every four and a half inches, you cut it, cut it, cut it. Done. Next step is going to be stitching those on. We'll see you then.